Hello, I'm Landon Schlangen. Today we are going to learn basic debugging by building a random background color changer. This only has eight challenges, so it should be pretty quick. Let's uh, try it out. Here's what we're going to be building. If we click on the change background color button, it changes the background color. Pretty simple. All right, let's take a look at what we have to do. All right, step one, we're having syntax errors. So uh, when they open up the console, they see this message, unknown unexpected token, expected a comma. And here we see red squiggly lines under these three. That's because we're missing commas behind them. And all we have to do is fix that. And there we go. All right, let's move on to the next challenge. All right, step number two. Here we have math is not defined. Um, for me, it's not random. I'm pretty sure math has to be uppercase for it to be referenced as the math object. So I think that's the issue. Um, yeah, it'll catch that and say reference error if it's if they don't know what math means or if they don't know what that means so i think just uppercase and there it gets highlighted so that should be correct let's check yep all right reference error is now resolved but we're getting a number between uh, zero and nine but it's got a bunch of decimal places we want it to be a whole number between zero and nine so the way we can do that is by doing math.floor around math.random. Math.floor or math.ceiling. Um, math.ceiling would be the upper range of the number. Math.floor is the lower range. All right, let's check. Does not work. And I guess it's because I have to actually put math.floor around this whole thing. So I'm gonna put it around this. No check, all right, there we go. And we get six. What were we getting before? Zero. I guess it would just give me zero because <laughs> because math at random is between zero and one. But if we multiply it by dot length, then it will be like between zero and nine. All right. Now we can go. All right. Step four. Now we're getting a document query selector is not a function error, and I think we just like mistyped whatever this is supposed to be. Um, I forgot. We're not supposed to be so if I it should use can't all oh, okay that's the only reason we just forgot a uppercase s here and I think it'll work now yeah and that should be fine we just have to use camel case all right we're not selecting the ID of big hex code or background hex code geez um, that's because it has to have a hashtag before this and then we'll we should be able to get it then because it wasn't all before and now it's an empty object i think that's correct all right yeah perfect okay so the problem with this next step step six is we're not getting a hex code and it wants us to fix the error so that it does get a random color from the dark colors array and here we're getting a random index and we can see up here that it's actually a function but the problem is that we're not calling this function we're just stating it and in order to call the function we have to add the parentheses at the end and then it should get that color and uh be able to change the background color although it's not really but uh let's see if this is correct anyway it is um, but this button still doesn't work all right, for step seven, we have the wrong name for the button ID. We're trying to get the button out of index.html, but it has the wrong ID. Let's see what ID it has. It looks like the ID is just button. So we can just change that in this. Instead of click button, it is just hashtag button. And that should be able to get it. If I console log it now, it's an empty object. I think before it was null. Let's see if I add a, yep. If I add a wrong character, then it's null. If I don't, then it's an object. Okay, we're almost done. Uh, right now the button doesn't work, and that's because button.onclick has to equal the uh, the function reference and not the actual like function call. It, like the function can't be called, it has to be just the reference. So here we just take away the parentheses and now the button works. All right, let's check and we get confetti.
And there we go, that's Learn Basic Debugging by building a random background color changer. Next thing we have is Learn Form Validation by building a calorie counter. How many challenges are in this one? 96, okay. So not as long as some of the others we've done before, but uh, still will take, take a while, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, peace out, bye.